Welcome to Easy Alim Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be learning on Form 2 Mathematics and our topic for today is Gradient and Equation of a Straight Line. So our focus will be on the equation of a line. So previously we looked on at how we calculate gradient when you are given a point on a straight line. So today we are going to be looking at how do we get equation of a line in different aspects. So first, you can be able to get an equation of a straight line when you are given two points. For example, you are given a question to look for the equation of a line through the points A uh, and point B in the coordinates given. So the first thing that you need to do when you are given such a question is to look for the gradient. And we said for us to get gradient is the same as change in y that is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 so we need to be able to identify these uh, values in the points that you've been given so since a is the one that has been given first you take it as uh, our first point so x1 this is going to be y1 and then this is x2 this is y2 so if you were to get the gradient it's going to be 8, which is y2, minus 3, which is y1, over 2, which is x2, minus x1, which is 1. So for 8 minus 3 gives us 5, 2 minus 1 gives us 1. So the gradient is equal to 5. The moment we get the gradient, we pick one point on the line. So we can pick either A or we pick B, so we work with A. So when you do that, we go back again to the equation. We calculate the gradient, but now assuming the second point is going to be x2, y2, which we can call x, y. So if you want to get the change or the gradient, which is now what you have been given, so the gradient is still going to be y. In this case, you're going to call it y minus 3 over x minus 1 because that is x2 minus x1 which is 1 but now we have been given the gradient which we calculated which was 5 now is equals to y minus 3 over x minus 1 so we multiply both sides by x minus 1 always put the bracket to ensure you get the correct calculation so when you do so this cancels out so it's, it becomes 5 times x minus 1 is equals to y minus 3 like that so we open the bracket which gives us 5x minus 5 is equals to y minus 3 so we can move around the light terms uh, then we can move this minus 5 this side to get 5x is equals to y minus 3 plus 5 then this becomes 5x is equals to y minus minus 3 plus 5 becomes plus 2. So we can further divide be left with y. It is important for us to have y one side so that we can form a linear equation which we're going to discuss later. But either way, this is the equation of the line. Unless you have been told to leave it in a linear equation, which you'll find out later, we can leave our equation y with one direction. So you can take this minus plus 2 this side to form minus 2 becomes y is equals to 5x minus 2 which forms the equation of the line. So sometimes also you can be given only one point and gradient. So remember this forms the second part of our calculation that you were doing when we had two points. Now we have the gradient which in this case is 3, and we have one point, which is 1, 5. So we are going to introduce another unknown point, which is x, y, and then we are going to do the calculate the gradient. The gradient is change in y over change in x. So in this case, you can see this will form our x1, y1. This is x2, y2. So if we get the change in y, this is going to be y minus 5, Change in x is going to be x minus 1, and we have the gradient, which is 3. So, so that we can be able to work this out, we multiply by x minus 1 both sides, x minus 1 both sides. Alternatively, 
for when you do this calculation alternatively you can be able to do this remember a whole number on its own has a one as a denominator so you can cross, cross multiply when you cross multiply it means three x minus one is equals to y minus five or the other way around it can be y minus five is equals to three x minus one so when you open the brackets it becomes y minus five is equals to three x minus three remember you have multiplied three times x to get three x and three times negative one to get three so you take this negative five to the other side we are left with y is equals to 3x minus 3 the minus 5 comes this side and forms a plus 5 so we have y is equals to 3x minus 3 plus 5 becomes positive 2 so this forms the equation of the line so let's do a few more practice so find the equation of the line with a given gradient passing through the given point so you have the gradient again and one point so just like we said this is going to form the first point and then we're going to introduce another point called x and y and our gradient is 2. so this uh, 7 is going to be x1 2 is going to be y1 x, x is going to be x2 and y is going to be y2 so when you look at calculation of gradient is y2 which is y minus y1 which is 2 divide by x2 which is x minus x1 which is 7 equals to our gradient which is negative 2. remember what we said you can crisscross or you multiply so you if you crisscross this is going to be y minus 2 times 1 as you can see always put the bracket because of the positive or negative sign and then minus 2 times x minus 7 so y this is going to be y minus 2 if you open the bracket when you multiply by one both sides and then negative 2 times x will form negative 2x negative 2 times negative 7 it forms positive 14. you need to be very careful especially when you're opening the brackets with a negative value so that you can remember that negative times negative gives you a positive value so this forms y minus 2 is equals to minus 2x plus 14. so we bring the minus 2 in this side we form y is equals to minus 2x plus 14 plus 2. so this gives us y is equals to minus 2x plus 16 which is the equation of our, of our line let's do one more on this set so once again we introduce another point which we are going to call x y so this is going to be our x1 y1 this is going to be our x2 y2 and our gradient is 4. so we calculate gradient by y minus 5 over x minus 2 is equals to 4. so we cross multiply we get y minus 5 times 1 is equals to 4 into bracket x minus 2. so when we open 1 times y we get y 1 times minus 5 we get minus 5 is equals to 4 times x we get 4x 4 times minus 2 we get minus 8. we bring this minus 5 into the other side which gives us y is equals to 4x minus 8 plus 5 so y is equals to 4x minus 8 plus 5 gives us minus 3. remember the minus value is larger than the positive value so when you are doing this calculation you can go ahead and use the number line which can help you to make this calculation since the negative value is bigger than the positive it's not going to completely become positive still when we remove the we move uh, five steps to the positive side is you're going to have negative three at the end of the day so this forms the equation of the straight line 
So let's do one final question now with two points like we did in the previous lesson. So the key thing here is to look for the gradient. We need the gradient to be able to uh, calculate the equation. So this is going to be x1, y1. This is going to be x2, y2. So the change is y2, which is minus 2, minus 4, and then x2, which is minus 1, minus 0. So as you can see, so this minus 2, minus 4 becomes minus 6. Be careful with this. You can use the number line to move in form 1 work. Minus 1, minus 0 is minus 1. This is the same. The negatives cancel to give us a gradient of 6. So we have a gradient, so we can pick 0 0.04. You can choose to use the negative values as well and the unknown point, uh, which is x, y. So this case, in this case, x1 is going to be 0, x2, 4, and then y, y1, not x2, then x2, then y2. So first to get the gradient is going to be y minus 4, over x minus 0, which is equals to 6. Remember, 6 over 1, then you cross multiply, which gives us 1 minus 4 into bracket 1 is equals to 6, x minus 0. You open the bracket, this is y minus 4 is equals to 6x minus 0. So we don't have to put the 0. So we bring minus 4 this other side. So y is equals to 6x plus 4. So this forms the equation of the line. So that brings us to the end of the lesson. You can go and check more revision questions on the same to help you to understand the topic and also the notes in the, web, in the app. So see you in the next lesson.